Crowley's statement, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. What does this mean to you? I always took it as an optimistic affirmation of a basic truth. As Crowley once quipped, one canst not but do what thou wilt, as, in this sense, even willing to do nothing is an intentional act. I took it to mean this conditionally, that is, upon the sole catch of having to seek one's own highest will or the true will compelling us all. As in, if this, then that, such that, if one follows the true will, then do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. This, I reason, is why the phrase proceeds, shall be, rather than is. It is understood that in the sober and sane situation of mundane society, one is in a condition of partial slavery, entangling alliances, responsibilities to others, and dull care prevail. However, it is reasoned by many of Crowley's modern followers, once one removes their will from within the shackles of such conventional, civilized behavior, one is set free into a higher realm of increased self-awareness through mind-expanding experiences. In other words, when what, when what one is doing is in alignment with the true will of the cosmos, one will, allegedly, have better luck at doing it, and conversely, when what one is doing is not in alignment with the true will of the cosmos, one will allegedly have worse luck. The proofs for and against this premise remain ongoing. 